Don't you realize what this may lead to? Craig Kennedy is a master detective. And if he should get to the bottom of this, why, there's no telling what it is. Kennedy, don't touch anything if you don't want to be blown to pieces. <laughs> What's the matter, mister? Say, what are you doing here? Why, I just came to deliver a package. What happened to you? How did you get in there? I... I was working at my bench. Someone hit me on the head. That's all I know. What's the matter, Craig? What happened? That car, Jamison! We've got to catch it! Craig. Get that man. We'll put the handcuffs on him. All right. Come on, you. Here he is, Craig. Crystal. He hasn't got anything. Uh-huh. This fellow has. 
What's that? Sounds like you came from that truck. Here, Marty. Guard these men when we come back. All right. Oh. It's gone. Say, if my car is broken, which one of you fellas are going to pay for it? Go out look, our bus. look out, look out. I'm just itching to pull the trigger. Boys, there's no question but what the presence of this truck outside Girondo's house tonight has something to do with this affair. And there's no doubt that you're right, God. Let's see what these two drivers have to say. Come on. I want to know what you two men were doing on the Duranda estate. That's my lawyer. You're wasting your time, buddy. Is that so? God, you'd better take this roadster here and get back to the Duranda estate. We're going to investigate this trucking company. What about these two? We'll take care of them. Come on. Here. All right, turn around. Sit down. I want you to keep a keen eye on these men until the police come. They're desperate characters. <clears throat> now, not a move out here. That will be all for tonight. Who's that with Wilson's truck? Something's going haywire. Go in and tell the boss. I want you to slip out from under that wheel. Be here and keep your eyes open. All right. I'm going inside. Okay. Yes, sir. What can you tell me about a truck that was sent out to the Gironda estate? I can't tell you nothing. You'll have to see the manager. Is he in? Well, he's pretty busy. Well, you tell him that I want to talk to him about a moving job out on Montclair Drive. He'll understand. All right. Hi, Captain. Hello, boss. A few things I'd like to talk to you about. All right. Hey, Craig. Craig, come here a minute. Listen, I just saw Denton go in the Harbor Hotel. Oh, you did? Sure it's Denton? I want you to just keep your eye on him. Okay. See ya. Well, what can I do for you? I just want a little information. Who ordered that truck out to the Gironda estate? Couldn't have been our truck. We got no such order. Oh, yeah. The 
It's your truck, all right, it has your name on it. Where's the guy that brought my truck in? Shh, I'm down. He's in with the boss. Beat it. If what you say is true, that truck must have been hijacked. Hijacked, eh? Well, sir, that truck of yours is right outside your office at this minute. Now, if you want to get in touch with those two drivers of yours, just get on the telephone and call up the police station, because that's where they are, old man. Where do you think you're going? Hey, catch him! Where's your sidekick? Hey, you boys got me wrong. Yeah, I suppose you're standing there waiting for a streetcar. Where's the other crook? But officer, the, the crooks got away. Come on, you're coming with me. Oh, but officer. detail is Kennedy's apartment. Number three, see that number seven is relieved and don't let him lose sight of Mrs. Geronda. Number six, the paper you brought me was not the missing part of the gold formula. Continue the search. I want action. <laughs> All this discussion doesn't mean a thing. There are only two important facts. First, Dr. Gironda's gold formula is missing. Second, we've got to get it. The first fact, Mr. Chairman, is that Paul Gironda himself is missing. He must be found. Of course. That's understood. All we need is a little patience, gentlemen. I've been talking to Craig Kennedy, and he assures me that he has several clues that will reveal the guilty party. We've done all we can, gentlemen. The meeting's adjourned. What are you so nervous about, Joe? Hello? I want to talk to Mrs. Geronda. Sorry, Mrs. Geronda is not at home. Any message? No, no message. Thank you, sir. Now, Miss Geronda, I want you to try not to worry too much about your father. 
I'm quite certain we shall have some good news about him very shortly. It's a great relief to hear you say so, Mr. Kennedy. You ladies will just excuse me. I'll get back to my work. Oh, of course. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Shirley. Goodbye. Goodbye, Walter. Goodbye, Werner. See you all later. A new book just arrived, Mr. Jameson. Perhaps you would like to see it. I certainly would. Thank you very much. Quite a touch of gas there, young fella. <coughs> Hello? Hold the phone, please. Mr. Kennedy. Yes, Jenkins? Mr. Sullivan on the phone. All right. <coughs> you all right now? Yeah. Hello? I just saw them take an old man into 506 Front Street. It may have been Dr. Geronda. Just a minute. Jenkins, get my hat and coat. All right, you just watch there. I'll be right down. Kennedy's heading for 506. The fools, they've blundered. Use plan one, two. I've got to get to Front Street. <coughs> Come on, Jameson. I'll get you some good fresh air, make a new man out of you. <coughs> well, I certainly need it. <laughs> oh, boy. Say, that fellow's stealing my car. Come 